This is the Oppo Reno3 Pro, Oppo's latest mid-range smartphone with four cameras on the back and dual selfie cameras on the front. I've been using it as my daily phone for a month, so here's what I like and don't like about the phone. I like a phone that fits easily into my pocket, and the Reno3 Pro mostly delivers. It feels good to hold, and it's easy to use with one hand. It's lighter than most Android phones of a similar size. I just wish the bezels were a little thinner to make it even smaller. The phone looks pretty generic and doesn't stand out. The shiny blue back doesn't look too bad, but picks up fingerprints. The punch hole camera in the top corner really gets in the way. And it's annoying when watching videos like this. I actually prefer the full screen experience of the Reno2. The 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display looks gorgeous. It even stays bright under direct sunlight. The resolution is only 1080p, but that's good enough for Netflix. And it helps with the battery life too. The only downside? It doesn't have a high refresh rate, which is becoming more common now. The Reno3 Pro runs Color OS 7, which is based on Android 10. The UI feels snappy and should be familiar to Android users. There's also an airdrop light feature called Oppo Share. It works well, but only if you know someone else with an Oppo phone. I also really like the dark mode and the high performance mode that delivers extra power for gaming. Check out the Ultra Steady feature. The difference is huge. With Ultra Steady on, you lose video quality. There's a bit loss of detail and you can't shoot 4K. But when you see how smooth the footage is, I think the trade-off is definitely worth it. The Reno3 Pro has a wide variety of cameras. You can shoot in everything from ultra-wide angle to 5x zoom. Overall, the camera is decent, but the 5x hybrid zoom stands out and is really useful. You can even go up to 20x zoom. The detail isn't great, but it's nice to have the option. Like many phones, the Reno3 Pro has night mode for low light shots, but it's not very good. Night mode photos are definitely brighter, but they look unnatural to me. The photos just don't have the right ambience for a nighttime shot. On the other hand, I like the 64 megapixel shots with this phone. It gives a much more detailed image quality. It's great for shooting daytime landscapes. But the biggest advantage? It works really well when cropping a high red shot. So you can zoom into small details in the photo. The Oppo Reno3 Pro is a pretty good mid-range phone. The many cameras and video stabilization make it stand out among its competitors. It doesn't have the power of a high-end handset and the screen isn't quite at the top of the line. But if you're looking for a mid-range phone that's good at photos and video, the Oppo Reno3 Pro is hard to beat.